Here we are day one at the airport. Oop, ignore the cord. Uh, but yeah, checked in. It's currently like 6.40 something. It begins. Had a little bit of an issue with the bagging thing. Got checked for explosives. Because apparently I look dangerous. It's not, not the first time. Probably won't be the last. I'll just check if this is the place I need to stop. Nope. Yeah, so I'm going all the way down the end of the airport because I believe this is where my gate is. Fun stuff. It begins. Also, now I start the search for the PowerPoints. I must find them. I need them. Still can't believe this is happening. But, here goes nothing. Okay. Oh, lighting problem. Um, so yeah, I s found the gate, but did not find the PowerPoint. At least one that's easily accessible. Oh, lag. Ah, so now I'm gonna try and find a place to sit down and have coffee while I wait, because I don't leave for another hour and a half. Around about. Yeah, I don't leave for about an hour and a half, so I'm gonna find a place to sit down with coffee, PowerPoint, access to the internet. Gonna say hi to Twitter. And yeah. <laughs> Got a lot more walking to do. It's gonna be interesting. See you guys. Just a little test just to see if this works. New camera or well, old camera, but not the camera I normally use. So this will be interesting to see if it works. I have no idea how this framed. I have no idea how this looks. Didn't record a Twitter Q&A right now. See so it works. Oh yeah, just finished the Twitter Q&A. Heading to my gate now, just walking through the trying not to bump into people. There's plenty of them. Pretty get used to looking at this in the right angle for getting this so it looks right. <laughs> Heading back to my gate now. And off to Sydney. Eh? Also, ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to advise that you may use your personal electronic devices all the way through each phase of the flight until we reach our gate in Sydney. Yeah, so we've reached the
Let's start the next leg of the trip. Landed in Sydney. Gotta go find my international terminal. From there, go and wait in the gate and see what happens. Oh, yes. Could you please make your way immediately to get number 31 until gate does close at 12.45 for boarding and offloading procedures will be yourself and your bags will be Thank you. Okay, finally here it is. About to get on my 13 hour flight at Macca's. This is where the fun part happens. There's a no smoking sign. We are currently refueling, so please do not fasten your seatbelt at this time. Place your cabin baggage either in the overhead lockers or under the seat in front of you, as the aisles and exits must be kept clear. If you are seated at an exit row or behind a bulkhead, your bag must be placed in the overhead lockers. Thank you. So, this is where I'm going to be seated for 13 hours. Kind of cramped. Really hope I get the same thing I did on the Sydney flight where those two seats stay unoccupied. One can hope. The wonders of modern technology. I can charge my phone on a plane. That patrol for screaming to ride there. I kind of find that hilarious. Hey guys, Tesh here. Uh, ignore the hair, I just got out of the shower. Um, also ignore the horrible lighting in here, this room only has two lights. By the way, I'm here, in Seattle. Uh, sorry I didn't uh, film anymore, but uh, in, in the airports my voice is going, as you can probably hear a little bit, which sucks by the way. Um, also I was just really tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here, I'll give you a little look at the room. We have, wait, let me, get a, let me get a better angle on this. Sorry, I gotta avoid the cords. Okay. So there we have the room. Just seeing if you can see it properly. Yeah, so we, we only have the two lights. Uh, let me just sit down now. <sighs> Lots to talk about. That 13 hour flight was hell. Um, <laughs> I slept for about, at most, three, probably only one or two, though, hours of the, the flight. Um, I couldn't sleep at all. It was so hard to sleep. Uh, luckily, the guy I was sitting next to was pretty, pretty nice, so I uh, got a few conversations in with him. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the flight, oh, then I got stuck in um, LAX uh, for six hours, two of which were spent going through customs, so that's fun. <laughs> um, oh, and uh, I, I managed to get uh, Burger King in LAX. Uh, it's called Hungry Jack's in Australia. 
Uh, and I went in, ordered a large, because that's what I'd normally get in Australia, a large Whopper meal. And she hands me this gigantic cup. Like, I had no idea you guys had actually had cups that big. Like, holy crap. And I was just like, uh, maybe I'll just get the smallest size. Which, by the way, the smallest size is literally the biggest size in Australia. So it's the smallest size is literally the large size in Australia. Uh, so that had that, and the burger was huge. Like, compared to the Australian one, it was a good at least a third extra. It was huge. It was awesome, though. But anyway, so I, I got on the flight... Uh, and I had a kid next to me, luckily I had a window on the other side, but I had a kid next to me, kid behind me, and kid in front of me. All of which wouldn't shut up and the kid behind me kept hitting my seat. Fun times. Two hour flight. Unpleasant, to say the least. Also, every time they like brought up the sound, uh, or like the, the speaker system, there was no volume control for that. And it would just be ear splitting if you had headphones in, like, because you were watching something. Anyway. Oh, that's the other thing. Um. Oh, wow. It just instantly slipped my mind. Fuck. Oh, uh, I took a, a good 40 minute, uh, I think it's called the light rail. So, train, tram, line thing, monorail thing, whatever. I took a 40 minute ride from that from the airport uh, once I landed in Seattle. Um, which, by the way, I had no idea the airport was so far away because holy crap, that cab fare would have been huge. So I'm glad I found out about the, the light rail. Um, and then I had a pretty decent walk to the hotel, which, by the way, I walked down the entirely wrong street because, uh, funnily enough, there's a turn off that looks exactly like the turn off I actually had to take. And it's about 20 meters before the turnoff I had to actually take. And I, so I went down the first one. And I couldn't find the hotel. And then when I did find it, it was across a massive, like, highway thing with a divider. So I had to go all the way back up so I could actually cross. So that was fun. A uh, little bit of hassle once I got here, but uh, I, I'm, I'm here in, in here now with internet access that's just about as good as my internet back home, which is sad, to say the least. But yeah, that's day one down, and I guess it begins.